The worldwide salmon industry is trying to find a solution to a billion dollar problem, a surge of sea lice. The parasites attach themselves and feed on the salmon, killing them or making them unsuitable for consumption. Once controlled through pesticides, sea lice have now grown resistant, and new approaches are needed to help keep them in check. We're farmers, not fishermen, farmers. And this is absolutely a farming issue. And we're trying to deal with it the same way every other farmer that grows all of our food would. Cook Aquaculture, a Canadian company operating in New Brunswick, is trying several methods to kill the lice and save the salmon. On board the Colby Purse, 10,000 fish at a time are pumped into a solution of peroxide in water. It kills most of the lice, although it can also stress and kill some of the fish. A gentler approach is this thermal removal barge. It's better described as a water slide park for fish. We pull up to a cage with salmon, uh, and those salmon have some sea lice on them, and we try to use our fish pump to move them to the top of the slide. The fish travel down the slide, and while they do, they get a warm shower. The, the lice release from the fish, um, and then we put just the salmon back into a, a new pen. Another approach uses cleaner fish to coexist with the salmon and eat the lice. We think this is the way to go because it's non-chemical based and it's uh, sustainable, it's a local species and we can get them from our waters and it is their natural habitat and it's quite easy to grow them. While these methods may help deal with the problem, it's a global race to get ahead of it. Experts say defeating the lice will require new technologies and strategies, including through genetics. We've deliberately infected our families with sea lice and then scored the, the number of sea lice that these uh, are attached to the different families. And we've come up with tables to show which, which families and which individuals are resistant to settlement by sea lice. Farmers across the globe consider sea lice the biggest threat to their industry, with wholesale prices up as much as 50% last year. That means consumers are paying more for everything from salmon fillets and steaks to more expensive locks for bagels. Luke Sheridan, The Associated Press.